Mubad is my childhood friend. He's my friend. Like, Bobo, all those time that um, stepmother, no care. I was, I was, I was, I was his stepmother then. I was his dad. I was his friend. I was everything to him because he lived with me then. My mom feed two of us together. This is serious. As you know, we are pressing and pushing for justice for Mubad, and that justice is what we are focused on and nothing more. Less than 72 hours after Prime Boy, the childhood friend of Mubad was released. We heard that he was arrested again. He has been remanded. Hmm. Now, we were told that some hoodlums attacked Prime Boy's mom in Ikorodu. And also, they are looking for Prime Boy. That is what we heard. But later we realized that regardless of those criminals who came to attack Prime Boy's mom, regardless, regardless, the Nigerian police would have rearrested Prime Boy. Why? Somehow it seems they felt they should not have released him. You know, these guys are the core. They are the key to this mystery. Yes. Adura Agbemi, the younger brother to Mobad, is a sellout. Is a bad person. He cares less. In fact, I cannot really put my fingers on why he refused to say the truth of what he knows. Anyway, Prime Boy and Spending, they both got released. Prime Boy, we heard, was released with some 2 million and the Nigerian police requested for some tax, whatever, and all of that. And also, they... Spending was also released with another smaller money. But why was Prime Boy taken back? This is because of what he knows. Recall, back then, recall that Prime Boy was about to say some things that he knows. It started with, why is Wumi putting all of this on me? How is this possible? And that was the end of that interview. Not until he granted another secret interview where he revealed what he knows and what he heard. And in conclusion... We now can say that Wumi and Mobad had a fight. They had argument that is centered on DNA. Mobad did not wake up and just request for DNA. He didn't just wake up and request for DNA. It's not something that he, he... Of course, he might be thinking, who knows who owns this child because you are of your infidelity. And maybe Mobad also, he has his own girlfriend. We know how these things are. The guys want to flex, but they don't want their woman to flex around. Well, it has happened. It has happened. Now, they went for a visa application. They, they applied for visa. And lo and behold, the application exposed who is the father and not the father. You know what I mean? I mean the application Reveal that Mubad is not the father. But this has been kept under wraps. And less than less than the hours that Mubad would have probably made a decision because he was waiting on it, like, okay, let the visa come out, let us see. Because uh, you know, Wumi had been, come on now, at least let the visa come out. Why are you talking like this? Are we going to stop the visa? Do you want to create problems? Maybe they will stop the visa and stop your own visa. So Mubad was maybe turning between this, like, anyhow. Now the visa is out, but Mubad is gone. And here we are again talking about Obele Gushi. How did the two million that was initially requested for bail multiply into 20 million? Of course, from what we heard, it is a fact that 20 million cannot be afforded by Prime Boy's family. And those that are behind this, the power that be, that are afraid, that do not want any of these to be revealed that do not want anything to be put out there they simply conclude that look the only way we can muscle on this guy the only way we can shut him down from talking too much the only way we can stop him from granting interviews is just to simply increase the bill that's it let's increase the bill and shut him down and who is behind this i repeat again the info that we heard that we've got to know that we have is that obele gushi is behind this as you all know, Obele Gushi or his palace or his media representative, they've not come out to debunk anything. They quickly debunked Sam Larry. They said they don't know him. 
They say he's not part of their crew. That he is never a family member. But for them to come out to debunk this, they have refused. Why? Because they go explain tire. Evidence is out there. It's just um, for um, you know prime boy spending to say more, and people who had one and one together and draw conclusion. That's why you quickly took him in. Now we have um, a corona inquest that I believe should come up sometimes on the 13th, 13th of this month. And uh, we don't know if they have a um, muscle on Prime Boy, threatening him, telling him to, care, to be careful of what he says, that if he's going to say anything outside of this and that, he might lose his opportunity. But that guy is intelligent. He knows that this is the only string, straw that he has to get out of this. If he don't climb it slowly and carefully, you might end up locked up for this because the nigerian police from what i have observed from what the media representative of the nigerian the pro uh, what he said indicates that they want to nail three people one prime boy they know is broke his family is broke two spending they want to just attach him to it so it will look like yeah let this one be part of the of the whole lockup because they said he's the one that called the nurse imagine three the nurse was not even granted bail at all at all at all she was not granted bail so you see the conspiracy now if this guy speaks at the inquest prime boy and spending hell will break loose they know this Two individuals are the key. That's why I said, let us secure the life of spending. Let us secure the life of spending. He is afraid. As you can see, you will barely see the video face or anything of spending out there on social media. He is so much afraid. Now, added to this, we also got to hear that uh, they wanted the Elegushis because. Uh, they definitely are the ones who stood shorty for Naira Mali and Sam Larry. Yeah. So they wanted to add Prime Boy into this. Obviously, uh, they know that there are certain things, certain, you know, info that this guy has. So how can they stand for him? If they do, imagine if they were the one that perfected the bail of this guy, Prime Boy. Do you think he would have been able to speak? Do you see how justice is thwarted? Do you see how they cover up justice? Do you think he would have been able to tell the world that he heard this and this and that? And he was telling his friend, why don't we talk about this at home? Why are you acting crazy? Why are you saying you will throw your son and woman out there on the road, on the highway, over the bridge, into the sea? Why are you talking like this? This is what he said. And... Mr. Mobad got angry, said, you are my friend. I don't know you're also a betrayer. I'm telling you that this and this is what has happened. This lady got pregnant for someone, brought in a child that is not mine. And now she has secured visa. What do you think? Prime boy is like, hey, don't worry. You guys will talk about this at home, not on the street. This is where problems started between Prime boy and Mobad. Because Mubad did not know where to channel that anger to like, how dare you be telling me this nonsense? You are my guy now. You are my guy. Why will you be saying this kind of thing? He got angry. This is where this stupid woman manipulated the whole story and said, no, the fight is between Prime Boy and Mubad. He's always getting Mubad angry. Not Wumi and Mubad having a fight. But Adura was able to tell us that when they got home, Wumi, the wicked widow, and Mobad had a fight. But he didn't want to say, like he said, I was not there. I was not there. So if you look at everything, if justice is really to be served, look at Prime Boy's mom. She was attacked. Although she did not report this and uh, she should have done so, that's what the Nigerian police would say, oh, we were not invited into it. If she did not make a formal complaint then. So I'm not going to say anything about that. But um, she should have done so. 
Report. Report it. Also, the question is this. What is Prime Boy doing in the custody of the police? Why are they requesting for a bigger, larger bail? For what reason? The Nigerian police, they are not serious about this. That's the truth. The innocent people, those that have the key to this mystery, they are the ones that they are holding down. That's to let you know that they are aware, but they are hell-bent on making sure that this does not come to light. They are hell-bent on shutting down justice. They are ready to dance to the whims and caprice of the highest spender. Who is going to give us? You know, this is money for them. This is big cash for them. You know how corrupt the Nigerian police is? You know how corrupt they are? This is like big cash for them. Big money. Opportunity for them to chop. And that food that they are going to eat with that money, drink with that money, or whatever they are going to do, it is going to, you guys will vomit. You will vomit. You will constipate. Because justice for Mubad. Justice from, for, for prime boy now. Justice. How come those who are guilty are free? How come those that the Nigerian police heard audio recordings of? Are you saying you people did not hear the audio recording of Wumi? Are you saying this is just fight between couple, but the other ones is not fight between friends? What is this rubbish? What is this nonsense? What is this nonsense? These people are scared. That's just it. They are scared. They know. They know. They know that should prime boy open his mouth. He doesn't know everything, but the little that he knows is bombshell. And for spending, hmm, what spending knows is is this is this is extra bombshell. Like, I mean, what he knows. And what Adura knows. Just imagine if three of these people come out to speak and say, look, this and this and this and this are what we know. This is what happened. Do you think uh, we will be where we are now seeking for justice for mobile without uh, uh, getting to the root of it? We will not be here. No, not at all. We would have sorted it out long time because evidence would have been put out there. Those that are supposed to, but all what we are saying, it, it, it doesn't mean that the Nigerian police are not aware of it. They are aware of it, but they are not ready to do the needful. Now, do you know why the Nigerian police released spending with a little bill? They did not know he had so much info. They thought the only thing he did is he also called the auxiliary nurse. So they released him on a smaller, they feel, can you imagine? The Nigerian police are now judging who should be released on this bill and that bill. I think we need a review in Nigeria. But spending, you are lucky. Do you know why I say spending is lucky? He's so lucky. If he had said more, if he had shown himself publicly, if he had said more, if he, do you know what would have happened? They would not allow him go if they knew that he was inside of that car, that he heard everything between Mobad and Wumi. They will not release him on a smaller bill. No, never. They will not release him. But now it's beyond them. Already, these guys have spilled it out. Next time, they should go on their private video and put out what they know. Now, for Adura, Adura said, Wumi told him that Prime Boy and Mubad are having problems. Can you see that? Adura did not really see some of the things, but being that he lives in that house and they have, they've been together, there are certain things that he knows. Even when they got home, we know that Prime Boy didn't go home with them. When they got home, Adura said he left home. And also, Adura should have said that spending was with them at home. Question is this, who called the auxiliary nurse? Did spending call the auxiliary nurse from somewhere else? Or he was also on ground at home. Even though Adora said, eh, I was making noodles. Eh, Wumi was making eh, fried rice. Eh, I went out. Eh, I was not there. No, I didn't see. Now, it is still the same Wumi that told us that eh, there was a fight. 
fans gathered to take money off from Mobad. Mobad didn't have enough. He had to send his younger brother Adura to go pick money and to change money to smaller denomination. And uh, when he got back, uh, Prime Boy now said, ah, why did you take this long? Then he responded back rudely and Prime Boy now told Mubad, why are you allowing your uh, brother to talk to me this way? If it were my own younger brother, he, he wouldn't have spoken in this way. All of these things, they are not true. No confirmation. Umi, you go explain, Taya. You will explain. No confirmation. Who are those? Who are those there that Mubad needed to give money to. Why are they not out on social media to speak? And apart from that, even apart from that, I'm kind of thinking that that incident is uh, a separated one. It's not attached to this. That incident happened before. It is not connected or attached at all. Connected or attached at all to this one that will be covered no not at all that, that one is just a a, 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 a a single incident unattached incident that happened it got nothing to do with this that is even if it happened because i am believing that none of those things happened Wumi lied to everybody Wumi manipulated everybody Wumi manipulated everybody she was coached to tell this story, they worked hand in hand. They used media and also the Shekwetarians. You know them, the Tontoles. They tried to manipulate media. Imagine them dancing at the coffin shop. Have you ever seen that before? Both of them dancing at the coffin. I've never seen this in my life before. Like, even when you're going to buy coffin for your great grandmother, you don't dance. Look at how they were smiling, opening their teeth, dancing, moving, looking crazy. Acting like they are going to buy noodles or buy, like they are going to prize a car for a young boy that passed away in this terrible way. They were dancing, smiling. I, I didn't see that remorse. I didn't see that, uh, these people are not normal. Though. I don't know if you guys have seen that video. Where Tom Toles, DK and Yabo Joe were in the... You see, there are, there are some things that, you know, as Nigerians, we, we do not take note of. It has become a norm. It has become a way of life. And these things are very bad. These things are very bad. We are used to it. That's why other people might look at us like, ah, what's wrong with this? Why are they be? Can you tell me how many people on this channel, on this platform, we, I, we analyzed about it. I said, hold on a second. Hold on a second. This video is totally wrong. You guys went to purchase coffin. You wanted to put it on social media to show transparency. It's okay if that is your intent. Now, how did Yabojo and Tonto DK, aka Jislovak, Shekwetari, or whatever they are, I don't know, I don't really care. How did they begin to hear music that nobody is hearing? And they started twisting her body, turning her body, smiling. They were acting like, say, ah, my God. I said, this is totally wrong. I expected to see remorse. You know, there is a way you position yourself. It's not about what, what people are saying. It's what they, how they act, the behavior they put out. I was looking at the body language. I said, ah, this body language does not conform to what is on ground. Justice for Mobad. No, it doesn't. They were twisting their body, acting like uh, this is a Makosa event like they needed to dance some fuji music or dance some uh, i looked at it i said no come on this is wrong they were dancing smiling opening their teeth for what reason dancing shaking their body twisting the body moving around acting like this acting like snakes without a beat no music you were smiling dancing i looked at it, i said no this is wrong so guys i don't know what you think about this one now, just imagine how many people sold out Mobad. Wife sold him out. Mother sold him out. Even his younger brother sold him out. We can even include some other people that they've attached to it, like San Larry Nayama and the rest of them. They sold him out. From what we can see, the only man, the only person seeking for justice 
is Mubat's father. I don't know what you guys think about this one. Drop your comment, like and share. See you in the next update.